Hey guys, Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. I got a new mic, so hopefully this will help with the audio. I know that the last video, the audio quality wasn't that great. I'm sorry about that. And I'm, it's still not going to be studio quality. I'm in a room. I'm having to have fans blow on me. And uh, it's just not much I can do about it. But uh, hopefully this is a, a way better mic than I previously had. So we'll just see how it does and we'll go from there. But like I say, as long as you can hear me, that's all you really need. Uh, like I say, these are just instructional videos. Today's, uh, what I'm going to be showing and talking about is this was submitted by a partner. His name is Jerry. Uh, and he requested that I do a vid on how do I handle a situation in which a game has, it seems like, every single value going through just one opcode. And today we're going to be looking at Mist Survival, and you'll see that this is a Unity type game in which all the uh, values are definitely going through one specific funnel. The first thing I like to do in these situations is see if maybe I can find a multi-level pointer. Because when you, when you put on the debugger, it's only going to show you just a couple of places that's reading and writing and memory, and that's it. So what I like to do is find that multi-level pointer. Once you find that, 64-bit games, it may be a little more difficult, but if you can find that, you know, the battle's over. Um, you can just use that pointer to, you know, make you a Lua script for auto-value writing, which if you have not seen that vid, I will put it up here in the upper right-hand corner. I got two of them. I'll put both of them up there. And uh, you can also do backtracing to a source point. Uh, these things are not together throughout the entire program. It's just, you know, it's kind of like if you're familiar with mono or anything like that, um, when you see these uh, different places in memory that one specific thing is doing one thing, one specific is doing another, 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 like that. Well, all games are that way. So that mono, it just shows you, because it's an open source, it just shows you where everything is, which is very convenient. But in most of these other games, that where we can't see where everything is, we got to find other ways, or look, look at other ways of finding those places. And backtracing is the best source to do that. But you really got to know your stuff, and man, that could take minutes, it could take hours, it could take days. I can't really just put that in a vid. Unless I knew exactly where I was going, which would defeat the purpose anyway. But, uh, basically what I'm going to do here is show you how I found the multi-level pointers. I'll show you how I can find other values using that one particular value. It basically just combining past lessons and everything. But, uh, this is how you can handle, uh, those games where everything's going through one opcode. You'll find that a lot in these flash type games as well. So let me bring it up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I brought the game up. I got Cheat Engine up and I'm just trying to uh, lower the sound down just a little bit. I don't want to lower it too much, but I don't want a lot of bleed through over it either. So uh, we'll just have to see how that goes. I'm gonna keep it on down about 2%. And let's get back to the game. Now, I just started a brand new game here. So as you can see, everything's just popping up tutorial wise and everything. So, and basically, when you first start out any game, you just want to play the game, play the game normally, and see what's going on in the game, how it's calculating values, and it'll help you a lot better. And you can see here we have a stat screen. We got health, hunger, thirst, and everything like that. Some things we can control. Some most things we cannot control. And what I mean by that, what values can we I'm sorry things keep popping up in my way what things can we control because that's the value that we need to find well stamina may be something we can control what does stamina use well when we exert ourselves like running or or building something so let's see and if you take a look we got our stamina bar right there so that is something we can control so that is a value we want to try to find Instead of just getting hungry or something like that and then eating something, that is time dependent. We have to wait on time to pass to do that. So we want something we can control if you can find that first. If you can't find something that you can control, then you're going to be, we'd have to look up something like hunger or thirst. You know, we'd have to do the time factor. Make sure you had food available, let it go down, and then eat some more, and then do your scans that way. So that's what we're going to do. Let me, uh, 
minimize that sorry about that and we're going to start with the stamina we're just going to see where that takes us so let's go ahead and attach cheat engine to the game I'm not going to load my associated table so we don't know if things are on a 4 byte or float but most times you're going to find these values on a float so I'm going to start with float I always like to put it on rounded default and simple values only I like clicking the writable bytes to the little box in there that makes it readable and writable and we're going to do an unknown value search so let's go ahead and do that now I've also done this as well and a lot of games you cannot pause you can see when I uh, go off the screen it does not pause it does pause however like this so we can pause the game but I also in situations like that I like putting uh, the regular pause on cheat engine that pauses the entire process and you can do that in edit and settings on your hotkeys here's the pause select the process I use the numeric uh, decimal point and also you have it here in advanced options and you have the pause feature right here I like the hotkey better all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go down in stamina we're going to go down a significant amount now we're concentrating on right now is the bar now we don't know if the internal code is the same as the display we don't know if it's different but right now we're assuming they're in sync together that's usually the best assumption to make so let it go down to about right there we're going to pause the game like that and we're going to go decrease value now everybody should be familiar with how to value search being this far along especially you guys that uh, come to me all the time uh, a lot of you are great game hackers that come here why you come here I don't know what I could possibly teach you but I appreciate you coming <laughs> but uh and we're just gonna get rid of any values but uh for those that are new and everything this is always your first step is you have to find the value you got to have a starting point so the value itself is the best starting point all right so we need to see that bar so you see how it's going up so we let it go up just a little bit pause the game and we go increase value we just keep doing this over and over again until we weed it down to a few we can try so it's going up still going up and you see I'm just hitting increase value I'm hitting it with my hotkey if you can see I'm just hitting increase value like that let's jump and what I do is I just wait till it gets all the way full I just keep matching increase 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 let it get all the way to its fullest amount let's bring up the bar again all the way to its fullest amount to where it stops you see where it stopped now match increase one last time now we're going to hit unchanged value and you see it brought up a value right away and that actually looks like a pretty good value so what I want to do is I want to freeze that and let's just see if our stamina goes down And it doesn't take a look so I do not believe that is just a display code I do believe that is the internal and another way where you can test that is put it down to about maybe halfway Jump and take a look if it starts refilling that has to be the internal code so and I got it frozen sorry so that is definitely an internal code and the first thing I want to do is put the debugger on it, see what's going on with it and this is where you find out that um, just let me show you it's all going through that right here and every single value that you locate in this game is that's the only thing the debugger will show all right so it's like they're all being calculated in different areas of memory and then they're all just being gooped together in this one huge funnel and going down this one little thing right here at its end point so showing in the dissembler so we see here that this is those areas in memory 
not ready it's a bad spot because you can tell look at this one only four bites so we'd have to, even if we did make a script out of this we would have to carry that down a return down to allocated memory which you never want to do but we're not going to do that and take a look i mean just every single thing in the game is going through this so there's no way we're really going to be able to compare anything out it's going to be very hard to do a break and trace on that so what other routes are available? Well, like I say, the first thing I like to do is do a multi-level pointer. So let's go ahead and copy our address. Double click on it, control C. Right click and we're gonna generate a pointer map. Now, my buddy Amanda Rake over at Guided Hacking has already done a video on, and it's a great one on using pointer maps and the best ways to find pointers. And I'm gonna link his video up up here in the upper right hand corner please go take a look at it because I'm probably gonna bypass this step but basically that's what we do is what he's showing in that video is what I'm going to be doing so if you don't know how to find a multi-level pointer go watch that video I'm gonna cut it here and come back when I have some results to use okay okay thank you so much I hope you did watch that video if you do not know how to find pointers I use the exact same method I already had a pointer map saved and what I do is I come in here and I just try to pick a few random ones and we just make sure that they're stable we play through the game a little bit and things of that nature I'm gonna bypass that for right now and we see here we got some good valid pointers we'll go ahead and label those uh, stamina and what I, what I normally do is I'll make a miscellaneous folder right here. So right click and I create header. And I'm just going to put a mis miscellany like that. And I'll just use backup pointers and I'll just put it in that folder. And then what you can do is just uh, group config, hide children when deactivated. And that way it just keeps everything nice and tidy. And if, I, if this turns out not to be a good pointer, or I got some backups down here. I also keep this saved and I can come back and choose more later. Okay. So for right now, we're just going to be dealing with this one pointer. So I'm going to get rid of the original address. We know that this is a good... Uh, I'm sorry, we know that this is the internal value for stamina. And the next thing I like to do is browse this memory region. This is the same as <clears throat> excuse me, this is the same as looking in the dissect data structure. But what we're doing here first is looking in the memory dump area. The memory dump is this down here. These are the values and everything in its byte form that the computer actually reads. And we're in a section of memory where these are the storing addresses, storing these values. You see here it brings us right to that address right here in the memory dump so anytime you do that browse this memory region it means you're telling the cheat engine you want to see that address in the memory dump and it brings you to the first part of it we know this is a float value so let's look at it in float so right click on it display type and we're going to come over here to float and here are the values and things you want to notice these are things you want to notice side by side values usually in situations like this it would be the current and cap current and cap current and cap do you see these values these if you you'll find this very common that these values are usually all together sometimes they may be further apart sometimes they may just all be jumbled together but uh, if you can find one value you can usually find the rest of them and that's what we look for so if we go back to our screen here our item screen we got health hunger thirst fatigue stamina well we know this here is our stamina so what would this be so what we do is we go experiment and we do that by changing the value and I'm gonna change that to 50 let's go back to you and take a look that is our health so just by doing that we found our health on top of it what would be right beside it well i believe that's its cap what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it up to 99999 very high and look how low our health went that's because our health bar we made our max stat much bigger 
That's what I like doing in these situations. So if you increase, so we see here that this does affect our bar, which is our cap. If we make these really high, you can make yourself invincible in that fashion. But how do we find these values? Well, let's go ahead and add this one to the current cheat table. And we take a look. You see this address here ending in ADC. This one here is ending in AEO. Well, that is in hex. That is what? Eight bytes away, I believe. So we come over here to our pointer and we go minus eight. No, I, I did that wrong. Hang on. Bear with me. I, I'm just really bad at hex. I'm sorry. DC minus EO. Oh, shit. Wrong way. When you see a string of S like that, that means you took the uh, bigger away from the smaller. You want to take the smaller away from the bigger. So it should be... Uh, EO or E0 minus DC. I think I had that question here recently too. Somebody said, I just get a string of S like that. Well, that's because you subtracted incorrectly. It's giving you a big time negative value. And that's four bytes away, my bad. So what we want to do is, first of all, let's just copy and paste this one pointer down several times like this. Just several times. So we know we got stamina. So the next one down we just saw is plus four. Or minus four. I'm sorry. It's four smaller. And if we minus four, there it is. And we see the correct offset would be four EC. So we change it accordingly. Four EC. And that is our health cap. And the one down below it would be minus eight. Which is our health current. And there it is, uh, D8. Slowly but surely counting up. Let's put that. Uh, put that here and let's label that one in health cat. And we can actually make this a child underneath the current. Just like that. So health and health cat together. And we can just do it like that. So increasing your caps to a very high level and then increasing that. I mean, they something can sit there and whirl on me all day long. And it's going to take a while for them to kill me. So, so there's all kind of ways you can give yourself what you want without, you know, writing a script or something like that. You got to look for these kind of ways. And if you notice, these are all, here's the stamina cap right here. Let's add that to the address list. I'm sorry. We got one more time. And we see that's AE4. So we know that that's stamina plus four right here. So we got stamina. And let's go to the one down below it. We'll just use that. Let's double click on it. And we know that's plus four. Stamina cat. We can do the same thing with that. We can just increase it up to a really ridiculous amount and take a look. Let's go back to our screen. Look, our, it's not even visible. It's so low because we got a bigger threshold now. We can put it all the way up. And look at that. Oh, I, I, put, I still didn't put it high enough. Look. Six. I thought that was right. There we go. And take a look now. I don't even have it frozen. But it's still practically infinite because it's so huge. It's just taken down out a little bit at a time. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost infinite because it's so high that we put the cap so high, it would take all day for us to run that down. We could be here for hours just trying to take down stamina. And same goes for health and anything else. And if you keep going down this structure here, you're going to find these other values. Here's a value here that's constantly going down. Let's take a look and see what that might be. Add that to the current 
cheat table. What would this be? Let's go back to our stats screen. And what we want to do is we want to make it go down a ridiculous amount. Let's see if we can bring this over here so we can see what we're doing. And while that's going down, we'll just take it down to 500. Let's move that out of the way. 500. And that's hunger. We see that's hunger right there. And that ends in AE8. <clears throat> Well, AE8 is just four more than our stamina cap. So we can use this. And we, we need to actually make some more. So multi-level pointers can really help you out. And that's the route I suggest you go. And you can do so much. Without even having to write a script, we can just increase all our caps up to a ridiculous amount. Then set our current there. And it would take forever for it to come back down. And things like that so always think outside the box look at what the game is doing you can also find your items uh, the same way I believe there'll be a four byte value and a lot of these are located together the same exact way just find one item go over here to memory dump and then just take a look try to use another item and see if anything goes down or goes up <clears throat> based on whatever value type it might be so I do hope this helped this was requested by a partner I know this is a quick vid and I know most of you already know this anyway but there's some people that are new that do not and I'm still getting these questions so I would like to just make this to give them something that they can uh, look at so that's usually what I do in these situations. If I can find a cap like that, I'm just going to put it so extremely high. It depends on if the cap has a cap or not or something. And you see here, stamina, I mean, you can just keep increasing, increasing, increasing. And uh, you can just make it a very big amount. And it's practically infinite almost. So, And you can also do uh, your own Lewis script. And like I say, I've already got those in the upper right-hand corner. You can, I show you how to make a auto value writing Lewis script with the cap or without the cap. And just put in your own value. However you want to do it. And you can also use create thread. I will put a create thread video up here in the upper right-hand corner. There are all kind of routes you can take. So uh, you're never limited. And multi-level pointers in this particular situation is, in my personal opinion, the best route to go. And if you did want to go find these places in memory, well, you know, it's gonna you're gonna crash your game a lot looking for these things. So these multi-level pointers will get you back where you need to be a lot quicker without having to constantly go back up here and, and research the value. So I do hope that helps. Okay, guys, I just wanted to uh, throw this out there, and uh, he was having some trouble with this game, and you know, a lot of people don't realize that these values are together. And, and every time somebody asks me something like that, I say, well look for one that you can control and look for something that may be related to it and that's usually where you're going to find your other values you find your constants that way things like jump height or uh, a lot of your uh, gun values things like that could be constants and not counting at all but you got to find something that may be related to it all these hungers and thirsts things you can't really control uh, that's based on time well you know we can control stamina so we find something that we can control right away going up and down I'm about to get killed over here but uh well not really killed but about to get into a confrontation but uh that's what I recommend doing I always find something that's related to it uh, usually they're together you just have to go up and down use your dissect data use the use the tools that we've taught you how to use and I'll be making more videos on different stuff later I also want to get more into that um, learning how to compare out as well and I want to use that new method that uh, dark bite showed me and we'll get more into that later also I, I found some really neat tricks with that so I want to show you that as well. But I do hope this helped. And this will help you also. All your values are right there. And uh, I'd look for items the same way. You'll also find that that health value. That you'll still get injured. You can locate those injury values. Because the more you exert yourself with an injury. you got an injury bar that keeps going up. To give you damage. Find that in uh, find that energy bar on a float value. It increases, increases, and then boom, goes back to uh, down to zero. 
so that's real easy to find and all the injury values and flags are right there side by side you can turn the flags off to keep from ever being injured but I'm not going into that but it's basically done the exact same way I just did this so hopefully that helps I want to thank my partners uh, these guys keep cheat the game going if it wasn't for you guys cheat the game would have went defunct a long time ago so thank you so much for your kind donations for uh, becoming a patreon partner if you too would like to become a patreon partner we have uh, perks every single month please go over to patreon and uh, go check it out uh, every month I give them something absolutely free and uh, we got a good perk coming up this month I'm not going to explain it yet but uh and accidentally just hit a hot key and it went off on me sorry about that <laughs> and i hope this might work well i guess i'll find out during the editing process on how well it is but if it's still about the same i apologize i did the best i could um, but I, I like i said i'm not here to make full big time production type videos or anything like that and sinking all kind of money into it i'm here to show you how to use cheat engine how to help you out all this you know you have to you, in the past you had to scour all over the net and just try to piece this stuff together yourself if it wasn't for Stephen Chapman and people like that willing to take the time to you know hold your hand and walk you step by step I'd still be struggling myself so I want to thank him for that but if you didn't have these videos Stephen Chapman's videos it was very very hard to find good quality information without having to do a bunch of reading a bunch of study trying to piece together what people are talking about when you know nothing about it it's it's like trying to decipher ancient sanskrit it's about impossible so you know but hopefully this helps you but uh i'm out of here guys you all take care keep on hacking most importantly please enjoy yourself that's really what it's all about you cheat the game fellas because believe me doesn't mind cheating you you all take care now.